Today is February 15th, uh, 2024. Marie Proverb 15. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but a grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools pursueth out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. A fool despises his father's instruction, but he that regardeth reproof is prudent. In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the revenues of the wicked is trouble. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the foolish doeth not so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. Correction is, grie is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Hell and destruction are before the Lord. How much more than the hearts of the children of men. A scorner loveth not one that reproveth him. Neither will he go unto the wise. A merry heart maketh a cheerful contentance. contentance but by sorrow of the heart the spirit is broken. The heart of him that hath understanding seeketh knowledge, but the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishness. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but he that is of a merry heart hath a continual feast. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasures and trouble therewith. Better is dinner of herbs, where love is, than a st stalled out ox, and hatred therewith. A wrathful man stirreth up strife, but he that is slow to anger appeaseth strife. The way of the slothful man is as an hedge of thorns, but the way of the righteous is made plain. A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish man despiseth his mother. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, but a man of understanding walketh uprightly without counsel. Purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors they are established. A man hath joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoken in due season. How good is it the way of life is about to the wise, that, the, that he may depart from hell beneath. The Lord will destroy the house of the proud, but he will establish the border of the widow. The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, but the words of the pure are pleasant words. He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. The heart of the righteous studieth to answer, but the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayers of the righteous. The light of the, the light of the eyes rejoiceth the heart, and a good report maketh the bones fat. The ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise. He that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul. But he that Heareth reproof, getteth understanding. 
The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. I have some verses I underline. I'd like to read them out to you again. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. That's uh, 15, verse 2 and 3. Uh, 15, 8 and 9. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. 15.29 The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. Get that same thing over in John chapter 9 verse 31. For God does not hear the prayers of sinners, but only those that do the Father's will. Um, and uh, 15.33 The fear of God is the instruction of wisdom. And B for honor is humility. Amen. God is worthy getting in his word every day I take advantage of my lunches and my breaks and uh, had a few minutes to do this Bible read here so that way when I get off work today I can go do um, I've been preaching the gospel after work this week so I'm going to do it again today so may the Lord richly bless each and every one of you in Jesus name